clipped on the turf. We were down there, by the way, and they watered it, and it dried up immediately. Yeah. So we're expecting a slow track, although so far so good. Evander, Mota! Flag is down, and it is goals in back. Two back. Two back games for the Chileno. Pipe Mora gives the Tippers the lead they craved. It jumps right before him as it's a full swing by Mora. Look at this ball. Curling freezes Loris. Just <laughs> helplessly watches the ball in the opponent's penalty area. A twist up. Into the teeth of the Timbers. Good Midfield ball. Bogic gets it behind. One on one with Miller. Cross the goal mouth. Finishes at far post. Polish power. 22nd minute. We were wondering if this would be this kind of game. Both side net. Grapo goes full stretch to his left. Nothing he can do about it. What a fantastic response from Matty Bogush, LAFC, to level here. Mosqueda. Anthony. LAFC, not the cleavage coming out of their back. Mosqueda. Evander! Golazo! Golazo and Vander right on cue. Doesn't show a lot of emotions, but try and wipe off that smile off his face. Was it Tillman that let him go? Pops up, Mosqueda, a little dink ball, chest feels the pressure, comes across. One of the things we're trying to avoid, and it's in close quarters, edge of the 18, Bogus and Atuesta would appear to be Bogus's chance. Gets it up and down! Matty Bogush has a double! And that situation with Max Cre Maxime Crepo goes from bad to worse. Red card, 10 men, and the goal for LAFC. From Matty Bogush. Wow. Atomus doesn't even move. Doesn't even move. I'm not sure he even saw it. That little hiccup, that little beat. The finished product lacking just a touch. But a really impressive run by the youngster on the left flank. Click to take the corner. He chips it up. And he's looking for Benteke, who got a head to it and puts it inside the far post. The phenomenal season for Christian Benteke continues. And less than five minutes into this match, he's got his sixth goal on the season. DC United won, Orlando City nil. Straight up as it comes back into the six. Right on the back post, drifting back off. Dagger Dan Dorlson has to do a better job at getting pressure here to allow Christian Benteke. Good news, though, is 28 minutes in, all of a sudden, you've got multiple options moving forward here for Orlando City. Better. And here comes the pace of Angulo. He clips this one to the back post. Dagger Dan Dorlson pounds the header home. Orlando City have equalized in the 28th minute. That's what they've been looking for this season. The distribution come in front. Now you get the flexibility of picking and choosing where you want to go. You've got a presence on the nine that's keeping the center backs occupied. You've got the Torres flicks it forward, looking for Muriel, who's all by himself. Wanted a foul that he doesn't get. McVeigh driving forward, finds Pirani. Pirani, not a Stroud. He clips it up into the air, looking for Benteke. Nods it down. Pirani! Watch the continuation. The argument in the absence of Cudi Pietro, you lose some creativity, but does that engine then find a way to be recreated in the aggregate? Corner number three for Orlando City, and this one is turned home, I think, by Benteke. Whatever the case, Orlando City have equalized here in the second half. And was it Orlando City's David Brecolo? Got good presence on him, too. Just look at the shoulder as you pinch up here. Now, Dayome backs off of it a little bit because he sees Christian Benteke stepping into it. Here is Santos trying to drive it in, blocked by Thor Halson. Back to Santos. Here's Pinani. 
He's closed out, flicked away by Angulo. Loreto looking for Maguire. The flag is down for now. Maguire slots it home. Duncan Maguire fires Orlando City in front off the bench. Right inside that center circle. It's a little bit delayed there and hard to tell. Our angle, when he played it, looked like he was in an onside position. It'll be becoming a steady presence back there. Melanda's helped that. But so is his grit and determination. Third round pick out of Penn State last year. Vargas! Oh, that's a Finally finds his finishing boots, Kerwin Vargas! Puts the crown in front. He's out here on that left wing, but watch the way he gets involved with the play. Capetti goes up and watch his run. Almost like he knows the ball's gonna come. He gets there first, really good contact. Hits. Maybe to blame for the panic. Bernardeschi, you saw that win probability still strong in Charlotte's favor. Oh, oh. On the tuck-in from Bernardeschi. And the Prince is feeling like a king in the Queen City. 1-1, three minutes after halftime. Looking to see what's in the box. And then he sees Owusu at that near post. And that pass across, given away. Abana! Oh, it's a finish. why they brought over the Israeli international the crown back in front 2-1 but Leo Abada is alive he's sharp and he's on the front foot and he gets onto this nice and early and then it's just quickness to take it past Gomez and oh, Bernadeschi good stuff around Johnny Federico Bernadeschi keeps it going Ruddy, oh, it's Owusu! And it's fallen to him again! Prince part two. 2-2 two -two in Charlotte. Can't fashion the shot, but gives it to someone else in an area that can do something else. Marshall Ruddy, and then it drops to Prince Owusu again. The wingers have woken up for the crown. They've got the goals. So Wusu has a great look. He's got two for Toronto. Diagre back on the attack for Shaw. Well, now you can call him the man. To understand that there's Diagre there. No one follows him. He's on his own. And then put it in the area where goals are scored. There's Patrick Ajiman to make it 3 2. Now Montreal again in transition. Raheem Edwards on his horse on the left-hand side. He really got moving. Edge of the area and out cuts it back across. Joseph Martinez! Montreal gets their first home goal of the season through Joseph Martinez. And late in the half, they take the lead 1-0. Joseph Martinez, other than just trying to hit it hard across, but Joseph Martinez knows where to find those little pockets in that 18-yard box, and he does just that. And then the easy part, frankly, for a player of his quality. I think the second half, you're going to see Cincinnati on the ball more often now. Of course, obviously, with the 1-0 lead for Montreal, they're going to sit perhaps a little bit deeper at certain moments, maybe not put enough as much pressure on Cincinnati. Oh, slip through now, Yuya Kubo! Played on to it by Lucho Acosta, and Kubo has his third of the season. We're level at one. Ball into Lucho Acosta. He's got enough time and space to pick out Kubo. Kubo this time keeps it low, wraps it around. Jonathan Sirwa giving the goalkeeper no chance. A massive goal for this. You see the look of pain on the face of Joaquin Sosa there. And now ahead for Joseph Martinez. Can Martinez get around me? Oscar? he's got some support in area. Lassiter ahead for Lassiter into the area. Strikes it and scores! A thundering blast from area Lassiter. And Montreal is back in front 2-1.
Ariel Lasser times it perfectly. Perfect weighted ball by Joseph Martinez. And then he hits it with pace and power. There's no the Keaton parts. Towards that byline, the cross is in. Hannes Wolf in some space. Hannes Wolf, the block in and the strike coming in. And that is absolutely fixed into the back of the net. What a hit for Agustin Ojeda. His first goal for the club is an absolute scorcher as City hit the front. Bypassing the first line of pressure, but being patient, finding wide areas. And this is something that we've talked about, the development of the wide areas for New York City. Get it into the... And out of his feet, New, England, or New York City rather can clear. Kessler's header will come kindly here for Fernandez, who's going to charge Jack Kessler. Here's William Fernandez! Sumptuous goal to put this one to bed. Three points are going the way of New York City as they lead New England by two goals to nil. Just keep retreating, and he's going to just put this on his left foot, tuck it into that far post to put this game out of reach. What a finish that is. Take the sting out of the game and then show his quality when going forward. There were times when Messi wasn't playing, he missed four games with an injury where Alba was kind of taking that role. This is taken away by Leibold. Over to Tommy. Tommy! Six minutes in! Sensational from Sporting! Just opens up the gap a little bit for Eric Tommy to bury this ball back post. It could have really sealed things for Kansas City and then kind of led to the downfall for them in that match. Wonderful ball for Messi to Gomez! That's all it takes for them in an instant into Miami, back in it through the left foot of Lionel Messi and the right one of Diego Gomez. It's 1-1. Pace and verticality from either Suarez or Messi but when you can play into the feet of Messi here, now you time to run from 35, 40 yards away. As Gomez and Suarez in the middle, Suarez the option. Suarez on his left, cutting it back behind Gomez, and nobody there but Tim Leibold. He gives it away right to Busquets. Ruiz and Messi. Messi! from Sporting Kansas City. Watch Lionel Messi just float, get into the space. No pressure on him whatsoever. Sometimes they like Polito to make that run. I'm wondering if Rosero becomes that guy because of the win. Shall we into the near post? As far as the defensive header, Tommy the ball! Luis Suarez does exactly what he's told to do, just cover that near post, but it's the second phase here. Jordan. Gomez takes it off of Davis. Gomez, back post, Suarez, again! Another mistake, punished by Miami. Back in front, three to two. Why? appreciating this but there's no reason for Tim Melia who's got the ball at his feet to roll it out to Jake Davis this one lofted in good looking ball and it's in and it's Mikael for the Houston Dynamo off the bench as a center back for the injured Sviachenko and onto the score sheet and the Houston Dynamo take a one to the lead here at Allianz. Part of his body does he get it with here? It's kind of a diving header and actually looks like it might have gone off Braun. Trap fending off Blessing and getting forward as well. Okay. Excellent ball for Robin Lud. Things are opening up here for the Loons. Lud. Bragapane! It's a spectacular build-up and goal for Minnesota United. And it's Franco Fragapane with his first of the year.
It's all level. And what a ball to find Robin Lu just splitting the defense. He picks his head up, he waits. Greg Aponte makes the right run at the right time, right on the penalty spot. Match day number nine was Portland and LAFC. 2-2 draw between those two rivals. Montreal with a big three points against Cincinnati. Meanwhile, Sebastian Kowalczyk goes through the legs. Kowalczyk with an excellent effort and a spectacular individual goal. Against the run of play and then some. Through the legs of Bacharach making his debut and then unloads on Dane St. Clair. Around. And no mistake on this finish. No mistake. You think maybe he's going away from goal there, but he gets it on that right foot, lifts his head up just a bit. And now he's got to try and keep his former club from taking a lead on the road. So it looks like it'll stand. Navajo has already completed the job twice from the penalty spot. A little stutter step, and he makes it a third. Big time start for the Colorado Rapids here in Northern California. A long approach, but stops about halfway. Just trying to get Yarbrough to show his cards a little bit. And right before he strikes, Yarbrough goes. Mihailovic back onto his feet, and Colorado with a throw on the far touchline. Long throw into the near post, intended for Maxu. Here is Mihailovic one more time. Good ball out wide. Numbers in the area for Colorado. In for Cole Bassett on the doorstep. Claims of a handball, but instead it's into the back of the net. Navajo the first time from the run of play on this clearance just before this wasn't able to clear the lines and then look at three players against two on Bassett 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 it's three for Colorado right foot right foot to his left just way too much space on top of the box in the middle can go either direction. Six to his knees as Pooch heads the other way. Globally six back to go outside. Pencil wants a through ball. It's late for him, but not for Peck on the right side. Peck inside. Save me by tackle to Yovelich. Won't be denied. Galaxy break through finally, and it's 1 0 at BC Place. Great ball into the corner from Pooch for Peck. Well saved from Takaoka. But there's that poacher instinct I mentioned off the top. Jovalich wide open. We haven't talked a lot about him, but another strong performance through 75 minutes. Low driving ball! Brian White! Of course it is! So many efforts off the hip for Brian White today. One finally makes good, and it's 1-1. Once again, they've been breached, but it's a superb ball in. And well risen there from Brian White. Far too easy, though, as a substitute for Gundes. By the way, Levante Johnson appears to have sat down. That ball's a hit for Pinto. If he's outside, he scores. Easily pass Yohei Takaoka. And just like that, the Galaxy answer back. The flag stay down. And it's a 2-1 match. And the Galaxy absolutely open up the white cap defense. And Pinsel, who is a natural goal scorer, two goals on the year, make it three now as he waits for Taco. Able to find Pooch, and now a through ball once again looking for Pinsel. He's going to win this race. Is the cross there for Pinsel? It is for Gundes! 3-1 L.A. and Galaxy are off to the races. And Diego Fugundes, retribution for him, beaten on the header from Brian White to make it 1-1. left to play. But with Vancouver pressing forward and the spaces being caught in behind, Paintsel again contributes. Good cutback. Mayumba, outside of the foot pass, Thiago Amada. Lennon. Almada, right foot of delivery, Wilson, and he scores! Well, this time he did stay high, and Rios with a pinpoint header against the side he likes playing against the most in Major League Soccer. He scored again against Philly, and Atlanta have the lead. Lobjanice tucks inside centrally, and now Jacob Glessis is kind of two minds. Do I go with Lobjanice? Do I worry about the man behind me? Daniel Rios just needs a little bit of that separation. Good strength. And then you weren't just... happy with the first half, right? 
<laughs> you wanted more of this action. Well, both sides looking to deliver. Almada. Mosquera. Wiley. Wiley for this. That's it. An absolute stutter from the left back. He just rifled that one into the corner. It was beyond the goalkeeper before he even seen it. And left to have double the lead. This will be a good look for it here. Just sneaks it into the near post. Kisses it into the ground. Shande Silva yeah. in, the, in the squad as well. Can you still have the quality to create goals and score goals? Well, yeah, Daniel Rios doesn't have many moments of, of brilliance in this match, but he delivers the most important thing that you need out of your number nine. Uh -oh. Well, here's a mistake. Ua is in on goal up against Guzan. Ua scores. And just like that, Philadelphia Union are back in this one. But well, the inquest begins for Atlanta, masters of their own downfall in this goal. But Philly have cut the deficit in half. He hasn't been on the pitch very long. This is a massive moment for him. To stay composed in the right moments, pick his spot, getting his third goal of the season here. Just beating Brad Guzan. They'll know that they're not out of games. As long as they can weather the storm defensively, they can always score goals. Long throw in, Ua again! He scored again! Stunning technique and the level. And Kai Wagner. What a hit. Oh, on his weaker right foot. The technique to beat Brad Guzan from that distance. Second year MLS midfielder. That's a terrific ball to the foot of Totland, who continues on. Five into the attack for St. Louis City. Rasmus All plays centrally. John Klaus, there it is. The long wait is over for the big man who wears the nine shirt for St. Louis City. And his first from the run of play for St. Louis since September 30th of last year. Hasn't quite been enough. Well, this is perfect from arm as in terms of his cross. But watch the movement from Klaus. He steps back. He steps back from the defense.